Hey, good afternoon, Manchester, New Hampshire, and all the surrounding areas on this beautiful, beautiful day. I love it. I, uh, oh, you don't like the today. cold. Do you like the cold? It's not really that cold. It's not cold today. Yeah, yeah. It's no, it was, today. it was warm. Yeah, yeah so it's beautiful. The, actually, the colder it is, the better. I like it. No. You know? I like running around the snow, bare feet. And the sh- oh, yeah. Yeah, you're alone well, on that one. Yeah. I think because I grew, you know, like I was telling you, you know, when you grow up with like stuff like that, you know, right. you're used to it. Yeah. Even though my bones are aching great, you know. And, and by the way, we're all excited. And I know you are. We have a repeat uh, person coming back on, back on, Amy Majors, who has numerous of degrees behind her and numerous of experience. And you know what? It was such a blessing when she came to the bridge that day. We did a blessing. Could you feel the energy before we got there? How hard, a lot of work we had to do? Yes. You walk through that bridge, you walk over it, and you could just sense and feel all the directions and the residual imprints of all the negativity that yeah. had happened there. And I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> we had our work cut out yeah, for us. We did. But I would do it again. Yes. You know, they would, it was one couple there that was, it was so funny that he grabbed her and they went, um, he grabbed her and they went um, running down. <laughs> He's like, give me a because wave they him. Yeah, because they didn't understand what we were doing. Right. You know, and that's okay too. Then there's one guy, he would tell me how he was a, Gonna go skydiving, and then what's it called when they jump out of the mm-hmm. plane and, uh, and all that stuff? He's, I gotta go get a beer. Now all this energy here is so we knew that the energy was working because of the fact that people were, you know, coming through and uh, right. you know. And, and th- my next goal, and I was just talking to Amy, and if everybody's up to it, I want to go to Veterans Park. Right. I will call the Park and Recreation. We can set up a date there, and we don't have to walk around the whole park, but we can. It's not that big of a p- Veterans Park. I think that's the one. On, on uh, Elm Street, I think it's called Veterans Park. Oh, I'm not sure. Paul, that Veterans Park on Elm Street? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh. Formerly known as Merrimack Commons, and it used to have a big pond in the middle of it, which was the watering hole for the town horses. Oh, wow. Interesting. See, that's our historian. Okay. Wow. See, we have a historian god in the back. That's right. <laughs> god knows all. That's right. What did you say? It was a, 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 a pond there? Yeah. Isn't that water. interesting? That is, that is cool. Yeah. It was a man-made watering hole for the city horses. It was like a gas station for the city horses. That is oh. so cool. And yeah. that is. See, we really is. You know, that's what I like about it, folks. And by the way, when we leave, Paul is going to have one of his famous historical movies, so when we leave early, that he will be showing for us. So which I will show the one that has a picture of Merrimack Commons with the one that has the watering hole in it. Perfect. Wow, there you perfect. Go. Yeah. Okay. And people on YouTube love, I get a very good response from the people that watch you. you, you I get a lot of good responses oh, from them. thank you. And I get a lot of, because they like what he's doing too. Yeah. We well, used to have an old duffer there, um, Howie. Yeah, and he I, I can always remember before that point he crossed over to this he come over to me he looks at me he says Norm I want to come on your show I said but you better have 15 minutes for me and I said okay now he was like what 86 or 87 he was eight. I think 87 when 87, he passed. Yeah. So. Beautiful guy. Couldn't sing a hoop. But you know what? He enjoyed it. And people loved him. Oh, yeah. people loved him. He he did, like, karaoke. So he'd, yeah. like, play, you know, Frank Sinatra in the back, background and sing yeah, to it. Yeah. Oh, wow. It was really spectacular. Really. It really, it, it made you feel good. Yeah. And that was the sh- this is what a show should be about, not right. just about us. I had to learn that the hard way, you know, because I was very self-centered. Now, you could never tell I was no, self-centered. No, I don't know Never. You know, make sure. And of course, you're looking going. amazing. Oh, thank you. Well, well this you year, sure? this is, yeah. And remember the people I told you yeah. about? The, the people they went to Ohio to visit. They're the lovely, lovely people. They're from uh, DePaul, oh. and they're from uh, DePaul, oh. and they gave me early presents because that was their way of saying how much they appreciated what I take. I have a beautiful cranberry shirt. I think it's going to be called yeah, or something like that. And then I had this one, and then gave Scott one. So uh, it just made me cry. Aww. Folks, if you're kind to people, and i got to admit, I'm not always the nicest person. I mean, you could never tell that either. Yeah. You know, never, I'm you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the thing is, if you truly love people the way you and I and you do it, do we get frustrated with them? Yeah, we're only human. Yeah. Do I want to smack him in the head? Oh, yeah, a lot of times. But we can't, you yeah. know. But uh, 
You're only going to receive what you send out. True. You agree with that? that right? Oh, I agree with that. Yeah. So, you know, the people I know that are always whining and complaining, it's because that's, you know, the energy they're putting out. So that's what they're getting back in their life. Yep. you got to change yep. that thought process. I know you have a sickness in yours for Thanksgiving, but otherwise than that, did you have a good day? I did. I watched the Macy's Day Parade, which I love doing every year. You went to New York? No. Oh. No, no, on TV. Oh. On the couch with a blanket and my cup of coffee. Right? Exactly. Because I went to the Macy's Day Parade one year, years, like, oh my God, 20 years ago. I froze. I was so cold. And, of course, I'm not the tallest person (laughs) in the world. And so I'm, like, hopping trying to see the parade through all the tall people freezing and going why did i come here in person when i could have been home on my couch and you see it better on tv watching everything just fine i didn't know i won't do it again right? i went to the Rhodes bowl parade oh you did went to the pasadena there yeah well that's yeah, a lot that's warmer yeah but yes until <laughs> but you see where all the blossoms are falling down you know yeah. where on tv you know you don't have to look at all the other things there and all that. You don't see all the mistakes that you do up close, you know, when right. you're there. And then so many people, you can't enjoy it. Yeah. And I'm watching these guys pickpocket. Good thing I have my money in my pocket. Oh, yeah, there are a lot of pickpockets at that parade. Uh. And it's not, you know, it's supposed to be fun, but you get all these people who do whatever. You're better off to stay home watch it. Yeah. That's like the Super Bowl, you know, or like we, Scott and I love wrestling. Well, I thought about yeah. going to, uh, go to that um, WrestleMania until I saw what it cost. You know, yeah. so well, I'm not watching football this year, sorry. That's right? I'm not watching football. I'm not either. I refuse. See, I'm a veteran. Yeah. And it really, really affects me when people don't stand for the flag. Yeah. See, I'm sorry. I know so many veterans that don't that feel exactly opposite of that. Really? Yeah. I mean, Ed, well, almost every veteran I know feels exactly opposite of that. They, that they don't care? No, it's not that they don't they don't see what they're doing as a sign of disrespect. Mm-hmm. Because they know it's not against the veterans. It's not against the country. It's against what's happening in the society right now. Right, but they could choose a different icon other than our flag. Because well, but the thing is, they should be respecting the flag. Right. They but they, they're not the disrespecting the flag. They're trying to bring attention to a situation, and it wasn't. And I completely agree with but that. But it was They need to find a better way to right. do it. Well, yeah. they tried. Nobody was. Nobody but was listening. You know, now people were listening. Are listening. Some some people are not listening. In the they're way losing they money by people yeah. by them yeah. doing that. They really are. Yeah. The, 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 and they NFL. might be. Yeah. And I think it's wonderful they didn't stand up for what you believe in and yeah. to make a statement. But I, I just can't do it because I don't agree with what they're doing. Right. I just think doing. it was misrepresent- well, misrepresented. But, but now you're yeah. punishing a bunch of people who do stand for the flag. I'm not. No, you know, by, I stand for the flag, not, but I'm not. No, but you know, by, by not watching football at all, you're punishing everybody yeah. because you disagree with the actions of a few. I wasn't a big football fan to begin with. No, I mean, they make way too much money a, to play you know, the game. The thing well, is I that, agree with that. Yeah. Now, one of the things that I am is... Can I, can I enjoy for a moment? Sure. Mary, could you get right in front of the mic for one second? Okay. And, and just put your mouth, mouth right to the mic and give me a test, one, two, three. Test, one, two, three. And do it one more time. Test, one, two, three. Okay, great, thank you. But, That's you know, you know what my pet peeve is? Everybody for the Patriots. Yeah. Okay, I, I am so tired. I like to see them lose. The 49ers. Yeah, because, and the reason being is because I, 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 I want to see an underdog win. Yeah, well, the Patriots were the underdog. And, uh, for many years, but now they want to want three because of Belichick and Tom Brady. Right. I think they're over. I think they're too caught and old. But that's my own personal view. Isn't that what's great about America? Because you, you help fight for the right for us to have our uh, freedom of speech or whatever. Um, I like and uh, I just think everything with the Patriot. I know one thing about New England area. Mm-hmm. They are no matter whether it's basketball. Whether it's baseball, whether it's football, soccer, and any closer to the mic. Yeah, <laughs> I would bring your mic closer to you too. There you go. Oh, what, what any sport there is in New England, New Englanders are the most supportive people of any of it. Well, you know, I've lived all over the country, and I think every 
area says the same thing about their fan base. They do. You know, whether it's Texas or Pittsburgh or, you know, California, which they, they go through before California goes through so many animals. But, you know, Cle Ohio. Right. Well, look at the Patriot Fuse in different places like that, too. Right. You know, like in Texas, you got saw all the Patriot Fuse or whatever. You know, and it's good that they support them. I agree with it, but I think, personally, I think they get paid way too much. They should pay you and I that. Mm. We're worth that. I think all celebrities make a little bit too much money. Yeah. And I think we all agree with that. Yeah. You know. But you know what? If people didn't keep buying the tickets, then people didn't keep paying, you know, the sponsors. Well, the, the ticket sales doesn't go to the actors. They go to the producers, the production yeah. company, yeah. Right. The, the executives yeah. and, and everything like that. And then the, the actors get a salary. Yeah. Right. And they didn't make that. outrageous money. Back when, yeah. You know, what, 20, 30 years ago, they still made, you know, first decent movie. money, but they didn't make crazy money like they do now. My first movie I ever went to was in a small town. And it was between, I always remember it called Between Heaven and Hell, the World War II movie or one of them mm. movies. It was in the first color, and it was awful. The coloring was terrible. Oh. And I think I paid like 25 cents to get in. Yeah. You know? And and the actors, like you just said, they didn't make hardly any money. Right. Mary Bickford and all these guys. Right, because they loved it. Time. Right. They wanted and they, and they to perform. Got, but they got treated well. So, like, you know, yeah. if they went somewhere, they would right. get, you know, free yeah. meals. Yeah. And, you know, they got the only what, yeah, The only things that weren't treated well were the children. I'm sorry, but why, that just boggles my mind. Why do the people that have tons of money get free, th free things? Free this, free that. The more money you have, the more we're going to give to you for free. Well, just look at the Oscars. <sighs> why? I mean, do you, they get, each person <clears throat> gets, well, like, hundred. And fifty thousand dollars worth of free of stuff, comps, yeah, just for showing nope. up to <laughs> to be recognized. Right, it's crazy to me. It's good to be popular. <laughs> no, well, I'm I, 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 I going to show biz. That's, that's right. We're in the wrong show. I say too much. I go to a lot of places. And yeah, you get a lot of freebies. Yeah, my checks just disappear. Yeah. Oh. He just doesn't make the bank behind it. He uh, just gets right, a bunch of free you know, stuff. So, yeah. You know. And Which is nice. I am grateful for it. I really, I, I, you know, it's so hard to imagine, and this happened with you, to imagine, like, all these people that recognize it. I'm sure you recognize, right? Mm -hmm. you know? A little bit. Isn't it cool? It is, but I, I, do, I feel kind of guilty, though. I, cause I'm not very big on people saying, oh, I really love you, and oh, I know you, and, and I want, you know, to, yeah. to do this, this, and this. We have a call. It, it just... It's uncomfortable sometimes. Yeah. I'm shy. <laughs> Welcome to Norma Friends. You're on the air. Hey, I was wondering if I could get a reading. I'm sure you can. We got three of us here. What's your first name, please? Diane. Diane. Diane, uh, uh, you are going to be going on a lot of change in 2018 and 2019. I'm oh uh, going to be representing a lot of changes, but they're going to be good. They're not going to be easy, but they're going to be worthwhile. All right. Okay. And but you have to allow them to happen. Yes. You know, you can't hold yourself back anymore. You, you're a beautiful person with a beautiful heart. Okay. You understand what I mean by that? I think so. Okay. You're always giving to everybody else, but you're not giving to yourself. <laughs> you see? Yeah, that's probably true. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I also would like to know, who was the lady that crossed over that you were very close to? Um, gosh, I guess there could be a couple. Okay. It feels like a grandmother energy but that's to me. Yeah. Did your grandmother? Um, my grandmother many years ago. Oh, the, you know what? People don't, the spirits don't, there's no age limit with spirits. No. And, and, and time on, the, uh, on yeah. their side is very different than time on her side. Because I want you to know that they've got your back, they're very happy with you, and they're proud of whatever you're doing. All right. Sounds good. Okay. And they also will tell you financially you're going to do okay. You know what? That helps. <laughs> okay. I don't see any big, big financial burden, but I, because you always know how to take care of things, but you've got to start making molehills into mountains. 
What does that mean? Stop worrying so much yeah. about things because uh, you're going to be okay. Mm-hmm. The thing is, you, you're not taking good enough care of you. You put yourself yeah. aside. It's very important that you start taking better care of you or some of these changes Norm yeah. sees coming in the next year or year and a half are going to be very unpleasant. You'll, you'll come out. Oh, secretly, you'll, I haven't I had enough already. But see, yeah, but see, now we need to now let go you and come to the positive. Start taking care of you and start, start building on the positive. And then you can have wonderful years and years and years to come. Oh, yeah. But absolutely. until you start taking better care of you, you're just going to keep up. You've got to change your lifestyle a little bit. Be who you are, but yep. just don't be afraid to grow in a more positive way. You have a message, Amy? I'm just wondering, what are you getting ready to celebrate? Because I keep hearing spirits say you're getting ready to celebrate something, and they're really excited for you. So, Are are you ready to celebrate something? Yeah, I I don't know. I mean, it's been a really hard year, and Mm -hmm. so we're kind of coming out of that. So in general, I feel celebratory in that way. Um, But I also definitely know that I need to be making some changes. I feel like I'm ready to go... To the next level. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I want you to not be afraid to take that big step. Right. Any advice on which direction I should look in? <laughs> what did she say? Any advice on which direction she should keep going forward and looking upward, okay? Don't look back. I actually I'm actually seeing uh, some kind of a career change. Are you employed right now? I am. I okay. am. I, I'm ready to make some changes. You're right, and I want you to don't procrastinate so much on the employment changes. Go forward, be strong, and go forward with it. Because you know, there's no such thing as, as I tell everybody. There's no such thing as failure, so don't worry about that. Okay. You also have children. I do. You're a great mom. Mm-hmm, thank you. And I believe me, yeah, yeah. It's, it's never. And how old are they? Um, 14 and 16. Oh, boy, lady, I don't envy you in today's day and age. I feel your pain. She has teenagers, too. Yeah, yeah. But I also will tell you that just be a little bit firmer with your youngest one. Okay. Okay? They're going to be fun. Your kids are going to be really super good. I actually look at them both being very successful at whatever they do. And, and don't it's worry enough. that they don't have it figured out yet. Yeah, they, they will. They, they, they will. They will. Yeah. Some of us still haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the three of us here still don't know what we're oh. going to be when we grow up. No. Really? No. I'm seven. Well, I, I'm 35, almost 73, <laughs> but that's okay. And I'm still trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. So, Last thing uh, you want to actually, do is worry, though, about do you, it. Do you, well, do you ever go out dancing? No, but I'd like to. Oh, go, 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 girlfriend. Get that mini skirt on and them high heels and go right out there and do the foxtrot. Okay, don't do it in high heels unless you're an experienced foxtrotter because you will break an ankle. <laughs> but going out dancing is a great idea. Yeah. Go out and become more, and become more social. You're like, I don't see you doing a lot, a, a lot of that. There needs yeah. to be more of that, more places yes. for people to go and dance. Yeah, just go have fun. Amateurs, that's yeah. all of us. We wanted to Do you play bingo? Dance. No. It's, Ooh, it, is it's it is fun. It's a lot of fun, but it's ruthless. Yeah, it I is. can see you play a bingo and winning like $500. Uh, I'm yes. coming with you. <laughs> you know, I know that 2018 is going to be a real good year for you. And right up through to 2019. As long as you but take care of you. You have to take, allow it to happen. Okay. Okay. And the person that you're worried about is going to be okay. Okay. Okay? And <laughs> All right. Give us a call throughout the year. Let us know how you're doing. How's that? We'll do. I like that. All righty. We're always open here. You can tell us off if you want. <laughs> but be, but, but be <laughs> gentle. Thank you. You're right. But be gentle and very delicate. He is. He, he is a, he's a big creep. <laughs> but anyway, I, I hope we, yeah, please let us know. And if we don't hear from you before, make this year the closing of it to the next year. Make yourself the winner. Okay. Okay? I'm on it. All right. You Thank you. Yep. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks. Yep. Well, she has a strong block here. Well, well yeah. Window. It's when people don't have a lot of confidence in yeah. themselves. You know, they yeah. really create their own wall. 
their own you know, I had that's to learn why that she has too. to take care of her yeah. yeah to get out of this pattern she's been stuck in and have the great time I, she's a beautiful next lady. year or two can be spectacular she has a great heart mm. you know but she doesn't have enough con- like you just said she's going to find to have more confidence run around outdoors naked do something you know to build don't, up don't run life. outdoors why? naked i'm not sure if that's one, legal this is a family show and for two you'll get arrested and no. in this weather you might get a little frostbite that oh you my don't goodness want. Oh. oh, frostbite's mm. bad. Wait till the summer. Wait till summer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's time One of the things I actually see her doing. I, I forgot to tell her, but if she's, I'm actually okay. seeing her doing a lot of not long trips, but doing a lot of different changes. And that comes with the changing of her, like doing some short trips. I don't see her going to Europe like that, but I do yeah. see her making some trips around, like up, in, up north. What do they call it? The White Mountains? White, White Mountains. Mountains. White Mountains. I'm North going there that. next weekend. Are you? I have never been there. Yeah, I'm taking the kids to Santa's Village. My neighbors are taking their daughter to Santa's Village. I told them that uh, I've only heard great things. I've never personally We've been. We've been. But it's wonderful. I've been. been in December, though, so yeah. we're yeah. bundling up. Yeah. That's hot chocolate. Well, he told me, though, if you go like if you go later on a Friday night, you, mm-hmm. you'll get a free pass for Saturday. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we're going there on a Saturday, staying over Saturday night. Well, and you to, deserve it. If you go it. late on Saturday, you can pass for something. When do you? <laughs> let me ask you. When do you and your husband actually get away by yourselves? We no. do uh, occasionally because um, my teenage daughter babysits, so he and I go out to the movies a lot. I'm good, good. I think you know. I really think that's important. Yeah, I uh, really absolutely. do. D- that way, you don't want to turn them upside down and smack them. Well, we do that anyway. Right? Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and no, we have a good relationship. We yeah. really do. We go out a lot. You know, and the one thing I had, and this Thursday, I was really, I always think every day should be a Thanksgiving day. Every day. Every day. But last Thursday was incredible. <laughs> was incredible. Yeah. My son and daughter-in-law. Uh, we're really getting close. My son and I are really, really super close oh, now. And then my granddaughter came over, and usually she doesn't spend hardly any time with me. And her and her boyfriend came over. And well, it was just because so, of the age. She yeah. loves her yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it was just so, and then we had another friend who came over, and it was just, the six hours went by fast. How old is she? She's 18. Oh. And she, her, and she bought herself a car, and she has her own car. She had a very nice boyfriend, Alex. Very her, nice. And they're starting their own band, so I'm going to be having Alex come on with his CD nice. band. And they're a drug and alcohol-free band. Good. Which is awesome. You know, you don't see that a whole lot. It I goes love to music. Sh- yeah. okay. it goes, you don't need to be. I, I, you know, I found out that you don't need to be drunk to sing. I know. It usually helps. I'm one of those. You know, I didn't know it one time. My son was there because he had his old man as well. And we yeah. were down. And they, I didn't know they had shut the microphone off. So I was, shall we say, slightly intoxicated. Well, I thought I was singing the whole world. And I said, doesn't that sound good? Oh, yeah, Dad, that's right. <laughs> that she's I was called in a band. told me not to sing, hasn't he? He has. Did yeah. you know I was a singer in a band? Really? No. I was a long nice. time ago. What kind of band? A uh, rock and roll band. We, I'm a lot of uh, metal back in high school. I was in a musical. Wow. Performed on stage. You still sing? No. Oh, <laughs> but you can. But I'm I, I saying it's a song. Oh, no, no. Uh, but now I, uh, my husband bought me the bass guitar, so now I'm learning how to play that. Nice. Yeah, I love music. I played I played the trombone in high school as well. Nice. Yeah, I love Ooh, that. You're talented. You, you know, the, I, that, when you speak of the trombone, because I could never breathe correctly. Oh. I never enjoyed the band or anything. But my music teacher, bless her heart, said, you're going to learn how to breathe. Because I always breathe through my nose. Cause up in here, it's a big hole they had to fill in when it was like 21 mm-hmm. or 22. And all this is flat here. So the trombone taught me how to breathe correctly. Is that the deep breathe? You played? No. Oh. It sounded it, though. I tried. She, she, she was great. She said, don't think you're going to make it into a band. Just oh. keep breathing with it. Yeah, and I'm grateful today. You got to get the muscles and your lips yeah, strong. Yeah. But uh, it, I, but I'm grateful today because it taught me I can breathe correctly. Right. I don't have to grasp it too. And oh, I lost two more pounds. Congratulations! So I'm getting there. And some people from Thanksgiving found it. I'm sure. Oh, I hope so. 
<laughs> I didn't. My, Thank my you. My partner nice. did. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. We just celebrated 21 years of being Isn't together. Isn't that awesome? That is. Yeah. To so him to put up with me, <laughs> it's a miracle. You know, but we work well together. You know, and that's the thing. Like when we cook, I, I do all the and grunt more to cutting up and all that stuff, you know, preparing yeah. that he does the actual work on it. The only thing is he'll rinse off the dishes, but I don't like anybody else doing the dishes. I do the dishes. You know? I don't have that luxury. No, no. No. And I don't have a lit dishwasher, won't own one. Do you have a dishwasher? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I have a daughter who won't unload the dishwasher unless I demand that she does it. Get your military voice back in I there, know, woman. I got to tell you, crack you know, that whip. You know. And you know, I cannot, well, yet I did say because if we all are, you as a spiritualist, you as a, we all know that this is just the beginning of the tip of the iceberg of, the, of everybody falling that is in power. Mm. You know what I mean? There's a lot I mean, of you stuff think going about on it. out there right Who now. I was, uh, Kevin Spacey, I was so shocked. Yeah. I couldn't believe. But I'm, and I also wonder, though, how much of the, I, I'm not saying these people are gu not guilty. Don't get me wrong. Right. But how many of them are actually going to be jumping on the bandwagon to see, oh, my goodness, look at this and that. And I'm not trying to say that all of them not guilty because they, they pure a lot of them are. And the, I think the most hardest part for me was, and I don't know if I really can accept it with Bill Crosby. I love that man. Mm. I love his wholesome co comedy. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me but, wrong. I laughed hysterically throughout the 80s watching him. Yeah. Um, but it's, would I believe him? Absolutely not. I read just, his energy. That just uh -huh. shows that we don't actually know any of these right. people. So no. we... You know, I, but we don't know the true story, right. so no, we can't, you know. you know. And do I really want to know? No. No. It's, it's not a of very business. hard situation. Right. And the only thing we can hope is that maybe people can see what's happening now to kind of persuade people from not doing this in the future. Yeah. Right. People so we don't are, have to be in this situation. People are becoming yet. empowered, and that's right. wonderful. But, Amy, I just realized we didn't let you introduce yeah, yourself. Yeah, that's right, too. I'm sorry. Tell people all about you. So tell oh. them your name and your business and yeah. what you, you do. Thank you. I all about that. We got talking here. Yeah. Well, uh, Amy Major. I have been a psychic and medium, rescue medium, and energy healer for about 20 years now. I can't and believe it's that. And author. I have my second, uh, my first book, Toward the Light, that came out two years ago, two and a half years ago. My second book is coming out in the spring. Yay! Number one, right? Number two. Is no, number, number one, one seller. Oh, number, number one. Course. Repeat after me. I know. I know. That it's going to be a number one seller. It's going to be a number one seller. Absolutely. Because, all right. Because the people are normally even <laughs> saying it is. So it is, right? No. You know. And I have a lot of Putting projects that I'm doing. I'm also um, co-owner of Infinite Journey. We have our center in Salem, New Hampshire. Not Salem, Mass. New Hampshire. Uh, completely different energy with that. And uh, we teach. I have a development class every Monday night. It's really great. We've got a good group good group of people we'd, we'd love to have more and i do readings and we have the workshop we have past life regression workshop that i have to go skedaddle to and get over there after uh the show today so i'm just i'm busy i'm so busy the problem and is you're over, yeah, you're, you're over yeah, you're, you're gonna be 33 tomorrow no oh i wish house oh. i have a house tomorrow. clearing oh tomorrow. i did that the other day it was cool you know, you we did? Went in, yeah. yeah, and the spirit did not want me in that house, but mm, I won, and, mm. and I brought in my, uh, I showed you my uh, shaman yeah. walking stick they gave me, mm -hmm. and it wasn't about money, and by the way, my friend Jean says that she is very comfortable with them. Oh, good. You know, yes, because okay. I cleared her house. Yeah, okay. It was nice. And I, I really enjoy doing it, you know. Um, it can be a battle if it wants to be. Yeah. You know, do you use all these machine apparatuses that they have? I don't use a thing other than me. And that's what I do too. You know, I'm not saying it's wrong. I write it up whoever they are. Well, the the, um, the gadgets are really to prove physical existence. Yeah. It's to have physical proof. And, but the people that call me to do the house clearance, they're not, they already know. They're like, yeah. we know. Right. That's why we called you. Yeah. Right. So why am I trying, trying to prove something that they already you, know? You're going to be doing a clearing of a house very shortly. And actually the spirit is in the car beside it too. Okay. I can definitely look. 
Because I'm going to Maine tomorrow for house okay. clearing. Okay. Well, see, that, that like an older car is out there? Okay. Because that's what I'm seeing in there, too. You're going to be successful. Then I went to, and I cleared a barn the other day. Everybody says, oh, these horses are so restless. I go, well, okay. And I, I tell I can't guarantee everything's going to be done. We can't. Yeah. But I will do what I can do. And uh, the ho- I got a call back saying the horses are very happy. They're eating well known. So. Yeah. But it's it's a tricky situation oh, with yeah. home clearing because sometimes you they gotta are make sure you're grounded. Sometimes they're just residual imprints. There could be projections that are forming. There could be elementals. It could be entities. It could be many different things other than just a spirit. And it could be spirit from the other side coming in saying, "Hey, we're just hanging out." Coming in to see how you doing, and people are freaking out by that. How many people have had someone sit on the edge of their bed, and you feel that pressing, and people freak out, think their house is haunted? Like, no, it could be your cat that died 10 years ago coming in to say hi. Stop freaking out about every little thing that happens to you. Now, if it's reoccurring, happens all the time, and you're kind of getting a little freaked out by it, sure, bring somebody in. Investigate, see what's going on. Uh, when Jean, the lady that you did the house school for, she was at my house. Yep. I have an older man that I love. I keep him there. He's happy there. And then, you know, and I say, okay, because he was the original owner, and he's not causing any problem, but he's a dirty old man. Oh. He keeps trying to go, no, we can't do that. We have to show respect to our guests. Right. You know, and so he did, and he went away and didn't bother her anymore. And, um. Sometimes I, you know, it's, then I have a lot of cats that come through that house. The lady that lived in the apartment upon the second floor had 67 cats. Oh, wow. So every once in a while, we'll get a tirage of cats coming through. Then my angel cat, about a, how long has it been? A month now, Scott? Oh, three weeks. Yeah, three yeah. weeks. He passed away. Then my son had his dog pass away. Oh, I'm sorry. And we got, I got one more piece of paperwork to do with the healing part. Good. Was, uh, my dog took his, my son took his dog I mean, two weeks ago, Saturday to the vet. Yeah. Well, you can send him home and put call back, then bring her, then bring him back when you have the money to take care of him. What takes hold? So we had to have him euthanized. He had a bleeding tumor, and the vet said, "Well, when you bring him back, it will take you know, because they want to put him on all the IVs and all that other stuff." And my son says, "No, we'll just go." I have a new puppy. Yeah. 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 What kind? I've had him for a month now. He's a Pomapoo. A Pomeranian poodle mix. And he is feisty and he won't stop jumping around. He's black with a little bit of white on his on his um, chest. And one ear goes up, one ear stays down. Oh, he is, he's name? got curly ear. His name is Cosmo. So now, now we have Karma and Cosmo. Now he is uh, your husband's dog. No, he's my dog. No. Karma is my husband's dog. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll see. Your husband attracts the dogs. Yes, my husband loves and the dogs. And you attract the cats. Yes, but he won't let me have any more. Scott attracts the cats and I attract the dogs. I love I love all animals. But since, you know, what's the hell? Well, I don't know what that was. <laughs> well, that's all right. Do you, do you uh, agree with me that the animals know when they're like a, like when my cat passed to yeah. the other side. Oh, yeah. I, I, I know they don't understand. Well, I think they do, but yet they're not sure. But a lot of times I feel they think they, well, it's now my big boy, I call him, comes now and he honks my whole couch or my bed, you know, oh. when I sleep. Oh, yeah. I think the animals need to have that reassurance that they're not, we're not going to get rid of them, yeah. that we love them. And I also believe the, the spirits come and talk to them all the time. Mm-hmm. Like the other day, my son would tell me that they had a bag with a donut in it and his dog, Holly, loved donuts. And he knocked the bag over. You know, his spirit, I said, yes, but that's how he let you know he's here. Because they will let us know. They will. Like with that young lady, who was her name that was on last week? Jen. Is that her name? <laughs> okay, yeah. Jen Paul Scott. Jen. Yeah, okay. And uh, she's like an animal Reiki person. Right? Yep. She's all, uh, I told I she love did. That. Yeah, she really needs to communicate with the animals more. Yes. Yeah. And you think, or I think we need so many people to work on our animals, not just medically, but with Reiki or any yeah. sort of touch or healing. And listen well. to them. You need to listen to your new one more. Oh, my God. See, his name is Palm. He's a Palma Poo. Emphasis on the poo because he's a puppy and it's everywhere. <laughs> he's not quite potty trained yet, so every time I walk into a new room, I'm like, hmm, okay. He's leaving his mark. Yeah, you don't yell at him, right? No, oh, okay. no, no. Yeah. Um, but we keep putting him on the pad. He also has a very, a very, very delicate tummy. Oh. Okay, so you actually rescued him. Yeah, he's a cute one. 
Yeah. How long have you had them? A month. A month. He wouldn't be alive today if you had them. Really? Huh? Oh, poor. He was a black sheep of the family, if you know what I mean. I don't mean that disrespectfully. Mm. Okay. And uh, you got to hurry to finish writing that book. Which one? The one that you're on now in the second book. Oh, it's already finished. Yeah, I gave it to the publisher done. like a year yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that one's so done. So it's just, yes. we're just waiting for it to come out yeah. finally the on one. the shelves. I have a question for both of you. Yeah. I've been waking up at 3 o'clock every morning. Mm, spiritual okay. enlightenment. Right. And then tell him, and I'm, I'm wondering if this is the time I should be writing my book. I told you that's yeah. exactly yeah. why they're waking you yeah. up. I think it's a great idea. I mean, I never, I always stopped writing when I didn't feel the channel. Right. When I would get grounded. But once I felt the pull to the spirits so that's what and then wanting to come through and saying, okay, we're ready to channel with you, it would just flow and I would write for hours and hours and hours and then the channel would stop and then I'm like, the inspiration's gone <laughs> and then I would stop writing. So at 3 o'clock in the morning is your time to channel. Do it. I'm always afraid. I, I don't know if I explained this. It was weird. I'm getting over it now. When I write my book, does that really mean my journey's over? This is me, you know, wow. the old me. Am I going to cross over when the, my journey's over or bit, whatever? You know, I would be scared of that, too. You know, because that's what I kept seeing, and I kept seeing yeah. Finally, and everybody says, and I think that's one of the reasons why I was procrastinating on it. Mm -hmm. But now I've got to do it and realize that my journey isn't over. Right. I You're getting that's a new a car. One. I just got a new oh, car right. last weekend. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had to. Our old car broke down. Had to have the gu the dump come and take it away. So it's kind of a necessity. Yeah. We had to. I got and, a wrap. And you're like, right, we don't nice. make millions of dollars on this. You know what we do? Yeah. No. No. We don't. A lot of people. You and I said this before. You know, people think that, like Reiki Energy Master, the Reiki Energy. The, the, I was I was listening to a class they had at the Radisson Hotel when they have an event here, here and I listened to this woman telling people what could they do it in forty eight hours or the weekend, mm -hmm. and they said, now once you get done here, I'll tell you, you put your site out there, Master, and you're gonna make oh well, well we're making money, money, money. I could see making a living, but not getting like yeah. Oh, some of these ones that hold the big classes, yeah. you know, like at the class or Oh, they'll tell. You, but no, what they'll tell their students is, if you're not making X amount of dollars within a year, it's your fault. You're blocking it. You're doing something wrong, and that's just not how it works. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been to a few uh, classes for mediumship, and the biggest thing was how good we had to look on stage and how much of a performance we can show to um, the fans and how popular you can get. Not a single time did I ever hear anybody mention anything about healing, spirituality, growth, inspiration, helping people. But that's the whole reason why we do mediumship. So why in a session with well-known mediums, am I being told how good I'm supposed to look on stage rather than how much healing I'm supposed to be doing for these people? Right, because now it's about the money. It's now about what they, kind of celebrity forgotten. you can be by making money. And I'm not saying that there isn't a purpose for doing that because a lot of people aren't comfortable coming to a medium, so they yeah. want to go to a gallery, see somebody on right. stage, and, and you know it, it helps them understand and explore. And I get that. But I think we're just we're forgetting the reason why yeah. people are, are mediums, and that's another reason why I don't do a lot of gallery work. I, I when I do gallery works, I limit it to like twenty twenty five people. Everybody gets a message, and the whole thing with filling up a stadium with like a thousand people, ten people yeah, get a crazy. reading, and I'm huh? like, what's the point? We have another call. Welcome to Norman Friends. You're on the air. Hi, Norm. It's Lynn. How are you? Yeah, I'm just fine. How are you, hot stuff? Well, Dan what's, lost his uh, job. What's go, I'm Dan sorry? Dan lost his job. Who? Dan. Dan lost, now, Dan is your son, right? My husband. Husband. Yeah, husband. husband. Oh, how did he lose his job? Well, he's laid off. Okay. But he's not going to be without work for, short, for a long time. Okay. Okay. He, I, I would enjoy the... Uh, lay off for a while to get himself together and Lynn stop panicking you're going to be okay mm. 
It's really um, a sad thing when that happens during the holidays. I'm yeah. not enjoying this. No. <laughs> oh, it's oh, crushing. No. It's crushing. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's crushing. How long did he work at this company? 14 years. Yeah, yeah see? it feels like a betrayal. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. did. And he wasn't the only one laid off, though, right? No, no. There was a, quite a few. You yeah. don't think they okay. could wait a month? Seriously? Yeah. A month? Yeah. Get through the holidays? Yeah. No, I work they, at They a always place. lay him off during the but I, but I will see, I he's not going to yeah. be, they're either going to call him back or he's going to get a different job in the same field with a little more money. That's, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I, I actually moving. think this will end up being a good thing. Yeah, and, and, the, and it sounds out kind of stretchy. Because okay. it feels well, very positive to me. Because we went for an interview and mm-hmm. recently. Right. And they kind of offered him like a verbal. Yeah. And they said that they were going to get back to him within the next couple of days on what the next step was. Okay, right. he's gonna he's gonna go. For, I would actually contact him as well. He should contact. Yeah, him. contact him right. because what they do they they wait to see how bad you want a job. Well, how, how grateful yeah. you are. I, yeah. I have a friend who's a, a professional headhunter, and she tells me that people who send thank you cards or messages for their interviews almost always get yeah. hired yeah. because it shows that you really care. Yeah. Because, I mean, we, we've all seen people who have jobs that they don't care two licks about. And so employers want to yeah. hire the people that, that this job's going to mean something to. What, what kind of work was he doing? Um, he's a machinist. Mm-hmm. So well, a machinist. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of openings out there now for machinists, and they're paying oh, pretty yeah. well. Yeah. I don't see him. Uh, I would, you know, I would probably tell him to find himself and take. A, he he can get unemployment, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I would tell him to find himself, and you stop nagging him. Well, he's not. He's going to be I'm in not. another job okay. within a week. Yeah, that's yeah, what I yeah. think. Yeah, I, yeah, okay. I, I think she just said we got. Yeah, within a week. Within yeah. a week, and he, he will. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, within a week, I'll see he'll be getting a job. Yeah. Okay, he and I also see work. you getting another yeah. job. Yeah, he needs to work. He needs to keep busy. No doubt in my mind. Okay. Yeah. Just and tell I, him to watch out for his back. He is going. He's cranky. He is. Well, he's lost his stability. Right. You know, he really has. He's lost his no, 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 no. He's you know. he's not an idle person. No. Mm-hmm. Well, if you turn no. him, on, you turn him on your knee like a son and spank him and tell him go to work. You know, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't see him out of work for that long. He'll yeah. be working before Christmas. Okay. okay. Oh yeah. And I also will okay. tell you that you need to go get your sugar tested and your blood. Who? You. Mine. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't really even have sugar. And it doesn't matter. People that you think well, they don't have sugar. Right. I, I, but I think you're a borderline. And when you and when you worry, you stress out. Cause, you know, you, you know, it, it's very mm-hmm. normal to worry, you know, mm-hmm. and stress out. Yeah. Especially around the holidays. I would tell you to go get it checked out. I'm not saying you have diabetes, but I think you're a borderline. Yeah. And I'm also concerned about okay. your blood pressure. Okay. Okay. Are you eating red meat? No. No. And does it hurt you like once every other week or something oh, like that to have red? I encourage people that at least once a week no, or once every other iron. week. <laughs> no. Are you a vegetarian? I don't eat any meat, chicken, mm-hmm. fish. Well, a little bit of fish here and there. Yeah. But no. You're, you're a vegetarian? Well, yeah. Yeah, and that's what's wrong with that. I gotta get. You know what? I gotta get back into that too because when I was a vegetarian, I felt a lot better. Mm. You know, every once in a while. That's the whole thing. I did. I feel much better being vegetarian than I do. Yeah, and also, yeah, yeah, I also there's two. I'm gonna tell you like I told the other lady, and it it won't seem it, but at the beginning of March to uh, a March to like June. You're going to be seeing a lot of positive energy that's going to help you, but you have to allow it to happen. Okay. Don't block it. Does that make sense to you? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm always open. Uh, I bet. Never mind. <laughs> that's going to be a fresh <laughs> meeting, but I'll be polite. <laughs> and when that's right, we're on the year. But uh, one thing I'm also telling you uh, is that don't be afraid of the challenges. You work too, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you want a different job? Yeah. Okay, good. I see something about an office material. 
And uh, I see that you, there's something uh, with a little more money in it and a lot better benefits than the job that I see you getting. Really? But that's going to be like right. in the spring. March is, is going to be a... come to me? Or is it something I have to go look for? A little bit of both. You're going to hear about it, so you're going to follow up with it. Okay. And there's a gentleman that has told me to tell you not to worry. He's got everything under control for you that has passed over. Yeah, what's his name? I don't get, do you ever get names? I don't really get names. You don't get names? No, he's, he wears glasses. He's got like a like a receding hairline and he's got short hair and he's about maybe 5'9". And I'm looking at him wearing... Oh, okay, I know who he is. Okay. And he told me to tell you that he's got your back. He Don't worry, everything's going to be okay. And you're going to be around for a long time. Of course I am, because I'm going to nag my kids. That's <laughs> right. Somebody has and to your be grandchildren home. and your great-grandchildren. I, That's I, right. Yeah. I, I do see you holding your great-grand, I believe it's a da great-granddaughter. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Really? Yeah, 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 I do see you. Hey, do you see any more grandkids in the future? You got two more. I got two more coming? Yep. Okay. I don't know what's in Tennessee, but there's something about you being in Tennessee, whether it's a visit, whether you're just going to move down there or whatever, but I see something about Tennessee. You like you like country and western music? I do. You ever been, then that's what I'm seeing, now. what do they call it, the Grand Ole Opry? Nashville. Mm -hmm. Nashville. Really? Is that where it is? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. huh. And you're going to be some famous stars there. Really? Yeah, I'm going to be there with my cowgirl outfit on. I, I want pictures. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> I'll kill him first. <laughs> but, so would, so would be. but but I do see a lot of changes. Who who's a singer in your family? Mm, I don't think there is. Sorry? She doesn't think there's a singer. Do you have a son, right? Because there's somebody in your family that or it could be a past family member, but there's somebody yeah. in your family that's very musical. You see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. In I fact, just pick up the guitar. Well, pick it up again and start playing again. It's a good way yeah, for you. I just, I she just, just started. I just picked it up. I oh, good. Good for you. But that's did you play it? Did you play it as a child as well? No. No? Then I would t tell you to continue with that guitar. Do it. And it's going to be a real music. I'll tell you what. You play the guitar, we'll get Amy singing. I got to get go. back into no, my guitar. No, I'm lessons. learning bass guitar. I'll come jam with you. There you go. And I won't sing because my son tells me not to sing, you know. But the one thing I will tell you, there's someone in your family that is very strong psychically, and they've got to learn how to use it to, without being afraid of it. In my immediate family? In your immediate family. Feels like a child, though, to me. Like maybe my daughter? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, does she have a child? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think it's her child. Like you just said it I think it's her child. child. How old is the child? Five. Okay. Yeah, I think that's oh, she's is. very strong spiritually. No, okay. and she says, Grammy. That she sees something, or maybe there's something there. Encourage her. Get, let her see what she right. can tell you what it is. Okay. Okay. Health-wise, honey, you're, you're going to be around. I'm just concerned about the blood, blood level and stuff like that. Just an ordinary yeah. thing that would be yeah. do that. But you also need to eat more Brussels sprouts. Oof. Love Brussels sprouts. You okay. do? Love them. I love Brussels sprouts. Really? You my share. A oh. friend of ours yes. brought them over with a maple syrup on them. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. But you can't put all the crap on them. No, right. No, That's no, what I'm saying. You know. But just roasted just them up. Them a up. little bit of seasoning. Yes. That's it. Yes. Salt, pepper. Yeah. There's something about veggies that are also turnips that you really need. Turnips, okay. Turnips are anti anti cancer I know I need virus. more vegetables. I do yeah. know I need more vegetables. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, especially if you're going to be vegetarian. I think yeah. the thing with your blood sugar 
that Norm is seeing is because you you might be a little shy on iron and protein. Yeah. So I would try to focus on getting a little more of that into yeah. your diet. Green leafy yeah. vegetables. And change yeah. your husband around the bedroom up and down the stairs a few times. That'll give you more energy. <laughs> And that'll get rid of his crazy. I'm gonna hit him over the head with that frying pan. There you oh. go. That was smart, Nevada. Now you're gonna get a nasty Ooh. letter. It's yeah, that's uh, right here. That's right. Visionary dot net for the nasty letter. Okay, honey, I gotta let you go. We'll talk to you later. Have a, let me know Sorry. when he gets a job. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Bye bye, man. Let bye us bye. know. Bye. Yeah. Bye bye. That's her. She told me to do it. Nope. See, where's nope. <laughs> all nasty letters go to him. So do I get a reading? Sure. What do I do? Uh, take those out and shuffle, shuffle them up. up. Shuffle them. Oh. Every oh. I bet that sounded great on the yeah. other end. That hurt my ears, Eddie. <laughs> They're so tiny. This is a nuisance yeah. and uh, bossy. Bossy. Right nuisance. My really? friend Kate. She helps me run my charity. And she can be a little bossy, a little nuisance. I tell Kate her that all the time. Awesome. I love her dearly, though. She's spectacular. She, Paul, can you bring your chair yeah. up here closer with the microphone? Yes, you can. Well, no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Right there. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I love this shirt. All these shirts. The guy when he when I wore this today coming in because he's from like I say he's from Nepal. They live in yeah. my building. And I said, when that's my TV show. TV show? I go, yeah, and I showed him. I go, yeah. Amy, you need to go back a little bit to the right, please. There you go. Amy, that's take out seven right cards. There, thank you. How many? Seven. Do not look at them. Seven is your number. It is. No matter what you do, it should it, it come out as a seven just for you. And think about something for you while you're doing that. I don't want to know about it, just for just you. Just for you, though, not for your family, no. your kids. Yeah. you got to be selfish. You want another child? No. No, no. No, no, no. How many times can I say no in one day? <laughs> but you can still, right? No. My husband can't. Like you can. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just get you going. <laughs> One of the things I'm looking about you is that you're always, always going to be on different avenues of of, of spiritual being. Right. Okay, you, there is no one set avenue for you. Right. Okay. If you set into one avenue, mm -hmm. you're going to get very bored. You're going to get frustrated, and you're going to get a lot of blockage. I'm a Gemini. I got to expand. Yeah. Okay. I also will tell you, financially, I know it's been kind of tough here and there and, mm -hmm. and here and there, you know what I mean? But you've always managed to come out, and the Spirit has always managed to help you, haven't they? Isn't yeah. that wonderful about spirits? They can help us. They you know? always give you the exact amount you need yep. right before you need it. Yep. No more. No, but no really. yeah, And that makes it good. That's what I do yeah. with it, too. I also will tell you that you got some lady that, you, you're such a kind heart. But there's some lady that's going to try to bad mouth you, mm. and you just you get, and the fun part Only is you. Only one. Well, I'm just saying there's one particular one, <laughs> okay. and someone that you know. Yeah, probably. You know, and you go look at her, and you're going to say, "Well, have a nice day. Thank you for the information." Right. And because you're not going to go back at her with a positive, with a negative attitude, no. you're going to go with them. Okay. Right. I'm not going to buy into the drama. Yeah. Which no. is what we all need to I learn. I left high to do. school a I'm learning a lot ago. better on that. Boy, you, you get in the next uh, nine weeks and nine months, you got a lot of cloudiness and not, and not, not bad, but mm -hmm. some decisions that you're going to have to be making. Like we talked about, you moving. Lots of moving. I'm actually seeing you moving into a, like a, a house, mm -hmm. and it's going to be affordable. Good. And it's going to be one of those where you, it's like, a, can your husband do a fixer upper? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. I can't picture you driving a nail in. I can do it. No, I can picture you painting. You know, yeah. the, oh, oh yeah. no, 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 yeah. If I you, can do you it, do she too, can do right? it. Yeah, yeah, I do it all yeah. the time. Oh, my God, they fire me when I paint a oh, house one we time. Yeah. Well, yeah. my husband likes to think I'm not very good, but I think I'm I think, you're, actually, you're very yeah. good. You can tell your husband that I said it differently. I, I will. I also will tell, how old is your oldest child? Eight, uh, well, 17, should be 18 soon. 
You want to? You don't want no, your grandmother, no, do you? No, you see I'm that every time. I'm dead serious when I'm I'm, I'm, I'm not really serious. Okay. Yeah, so am I. Get her on the shot or whatever they have. I'm gonna get her on something. Okay. She's also can be very rebellious. Yes. But she's also very kind. Mm, she she's certainly she's more she's rebellious. Her mother's daughter. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> she's rebellious at home, but very kind on the outside. Right. Other people. She's like very other. quiet. Right. Okay. Does she get on? Does she battle on Facebook? No, she doesn't get on Facebook that much. Yeah. She's really intelligent. She doesn't like to think. She doesn't think so. She's well, that's because she has no confidence in herself yeah. for some reason. She's like her mother's keeper. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, We're I both actually, dragons, so. Yeah. I actually see her going into the military. She can't. Why? She has because of her medical oh. issues. Isn't that sad that people that want to get in can't? I know. Well, no. Yeah. It, it depends on what the that. issue yeah. is. Yeah. I think, yeah. you know. I, I really see her by the time she's 20. plexus. Right. She has a lot of physical. So it's better for her not to right. go. But she but can she, still support the military yeah, she'll work in for numerous the, ways. Let's put it this way. She'll work for the military. Not necessarily in the military. Yep. Maybe, okay. And she's very strong spiritually, but she's not ready to accept it. No. Not yet. And that's okay. Mm. Okay. You have another son that's very, very powerful. Mm. You know, then your rambunctious child. Michael. <laughs> okay. And he knows it, but he doesn't understand it and right. until he's ready to understand it. You should you have know. seen him at my latest psychic fair. He sat there at a table trying to give some of our guests readings. It was the cutest thing. But he was just having a ball. Telling he's going to be very good when he's ready. Yeah. he's He just lights up the whole room. Yeah. He's a beautiful child. I actually was at a fair and I had to tell a lady that she couldn't have her stepdaughter sitting there doing readings while she was doing readings. Mm. Okay, because it was interfering. You need to get the permission of the people. Right. Okay, people are too uncomfortable. Oh, right. You know. Huh. I actually see, how long have you been married? Ten years. Your poor husband. Ah! <laughs> You're laughing at that one, right? Now, so are these different children than, than your husband? Two from my first marriage, two from my second marriage. Oh, so he's been married four times? I've, no. Oh, two times? Two times, me. Oh. Oh. I'm been divorced. They're all four of them are mine now. But your uh, your husband now treats it, your only ones like his own. Yes. And that's really mm -hmm. amazing. that's amazing today, you know. And uh, I'm telling you, you got your daughter's got to be careful. Let's get her out of high school. Six more months. And uh, is she planning on going to college? She wants to, but she wants to go into animal control. That would be awesome. Yeah, she loves animals. She, the one thing, that, that's what I'm seeing with her. She can, can communicate like with your dogs. Mm -hmm. Allow her to teach herself or allow uh, you can teach her. Right. See, I don't believe in all this education online like that. We have to, it's good for a follow, it's a good for a backup, but you also have to learn how to become, use it as guidelines. Not, you know, not depend like this well, one woman. Like we said, any training yeah. that you do, you need to take that information and make it your own. Right, yeah. But I, you know, because I think any kind of training you can get to get you the basis is good. That's why people come to classes with yeah. you or me or yeah, Norm yeah. Mm -hmm. to get the, yeah. you know, the basic training. But the, right. everybody needs to develop their gifts in their own way. Right. Yeah, I met a, I met a woman the other day, and I think, and I mean, Jill, I think her name is. Let me tell you, I mean, she goes by the book. I go, now, it is, she had taken so many classes. Which book? That's, that's exactly. what I said to her. Because in any genre you're in, there's a thousand different yeah. perspectives. I have my own way of teaching. You have your way of teaching. You have your way of teaching. And mm -hmm. who's to say we're wrong? Who's well, we're not, because no. everybody we needs to teach We all have our own truth. Right, like what I do Reiki energy, or well, right. not spiritual, I don't do Reiki, I take the word out, I do spiritual healing, you know, mm -hmm. I'm working with spiritual healing and guiding, and I always tell them, I'm, I always tell them I'm only the tool. Right. You know, when people say they're the healers, some of them get upset with me, but we're not, we're only the tool that, they heal themselves, but the tools that we give them to use, okay? By the way, get your eyes tested again, there's something about them improving in the next five years. Okay. Seriously, I see the improvement coming. Whether it's through laser or whatever, but I do see a lot more. Uh. Do you eat carrots? Yes. A lot? Yeah, I, I guess I do. Okay. I eat a lot. Don't of boil them, steam them, or eat them raw. I eat them all. I like them cooked, though. 
steam them then. Yeah. Okay. And that way you're not losing the nutrition. Okay. That way you're not losing the nutrition. Your husband, he's a hard-working man, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Okay. He makes an okay income, but he could do better. I think he does pretty well. I mean, he, I'm sure he would like to do more. Yeah. What does he do? He is, oh God, what is he? A mechanical uh, um, engineering manager. Okay. Well, he's got another promotion coming. He was just promoted like a few weeks ago. Oh, was he? Oh, yeah. okay, so we already got it. So he's now and an that, engineering manager. Okay, but now, but I'm going to tell you, in another year and a half, there's another promotion coming. Yes. And I'm I, really like him there. Yeah. He's, he acts like he doesn't pay attention to what he's doing or whatever. He's so brilliant. Mm. And boy, that's going to go to his head. We tell him he's oh, smart, right? You. But he does. He's very laid back at times, isn't he? Yeah. He's not, a, he's not necessarily a per, people person. He's more of a, into the books. He's very intelligent, almost like a borderline genius. Mm. And I would also say that your youngest son is going to be a lot like him. Probably. Okay. Little Sam. Okay. And, but your, your husband also, i got to let you know, he loves you very much. Mm, don't know what he sees, but, <laughs> oh, come on, girlfriend. Yeah, but, yeah, he, he, we he do. Really, we have a well, you love You guys too. actually like each other. If I told you that you two knew each other in your past life, what would you I say? Have, we knew that when we first met each other. Okay. A lot that. of times that happens. We have to go through a rough area to get rebound. But I really think Scott and I were together in our past life as well, like you mm -hmm. and Bruce. Oh, I know Bruce know. and I were, because, I mean, the second... Yeah. But, I mean, the You're going to have four grandchildren on. and three great grandchildren. Oh, you really like kids. Huh? I love them. Ooh. Yeah, I see more. I see more great grandchildren than mm. that. Can we just play them all? You are on the right foundation for your life. Okay, that's okay. good to know. <laughs> you really are, even though you get a little airheaded at times or a dipsy doodle or whatever you want to call Me? It. <laughs> okay. People but I also see people. you going, there's another person that you're going to be going into business with. Okay. Okay. I wish you would only do it by yourself. Mm. Because you, because this way you can do it the way you want. You mm. can't. Uh, you can do it the way you want. You mm. can't allow other people to control your life anymore. Now it's time for you to take matters in your own hands and say, you know what, I am Amy Majors. Hey, you got yeah. both our names. Yeah, right? yeah. holy and moly! I am not putting up with any more garbage. <laughs> I'm taking my life. I'm taking control. Okay. <laughs> Uh, like where you're at in your business now, I do see you moving your business. When it's Salem, there I see you moving to another location. Okay, but it's out of Salem. Out of Salem. Yeah, I think Salem. it's near wherever you're going to end up yeah. living. Okay. I'm seeing a P like a pastel or something like that or somewhere like that. You know, I have to. Would you be willing? Do you want to go back to Goffstown? Uh, it's okay. Goffstown, where my husband wants to live in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah? I'm not. A, he wants to live out with a whole bunch of land, have ATVs, lots of animals. Milford. Yeah. Uh, Milford's a very gloomy town, you know. But it's I, getting better. I just told him yeah. I have to be 15, 20 minutes away from the supermarket. Yeah, there you go. Then I'm happy, you know. Yeah. I can. That's why I like where I live. I can jump on the bus and go to the market. Well, I don't do it. Yeah. But he works in Nashua, so somewhere close to that would I'm be I'm nice. telling you right now. I Actually, what's a Hollis? Hollis. Oh, that's west of Nashua. Is that a town? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's something about a Hollis. You could be moving towards that area. Okay. Wherever you locate, your business will be better for you. Oh. That's, yeah, I, that's what I think, too. I, okay. I, you really that's need why to I be think you're going to be uh, working close to where you're going to be living. Okay. You need to be a sole practitioner. Mm. Okay, you need to take care of your own paychecks, your own this and that or whatever, the book your own. You are a fantastic teacher. Mm. You, you don't need to have someone interceding. And I'm not trying to be mean when I say that. Please know that. So if your friend is hearing, I'm not trying to intimidate or anything. And you see, some people like myself, and I think you, well, you, and you too, you really need to be by yourself, working for you, and not someone Well, else. I do work just for yeah. me. Yeah. Mm. I yeah. just rent space from yeah. somebody else yeah. so I don't have to... Well, my head is always looking for renters. I never find them, you know. I also will. T <laughs> I also will tell you. You're gonna start climbing a spiritual mountain. Do you understand what I mean by that? Mm -hmm. Okay. You've already started it. 
Okay. A while ago, yeah. Yeah, but it's going to be rare the next two years as far as your spiritual mountain goes. Okay. Hang on, sweetheart, because you're going to be flying up, then you're going to crash, you're going to fly, you're going to crash, because you're going to forget where you are, and you're going to have to have your... We all have egos. Mine have been having a hell of a lesson, you know. Mm. But you're gonna climb. You're gonna climb down. I also will tell you, you're gonna be working with. So you do Reiki, right? No, I do pranic healing. What's that? It's a form. It's a different form of energy healing where you bring up Mother Earth energy okay. and spirit energy, combine it together. If I, what if I told you I saw you working with someone with cancer and you're gonna help them get better? I believe it. My guide's been showing me that. Okay. You're really a medicine woman. Mm. Even in your past life, you were a medicine woman. Yeah, I was okay. a witch several times. Your mom and dad don't understand what you're doing, do they? No, but they're both in spirit, so yeah, they're both they, looking they, down. They're supporting you. Supporting me now, finally. Yeah. Your dad said he supports you 100. He understands a lot clearer now, unfortunately. He didn't mm. understand when you were alive. Right. He was a kind of a gruff guy, but he loved you. You know that. Oh, yeah. Right? Okay. We had a great relationship. He didn't know how to show emotion. Mm. Okay. Boy, was he proud when you were in the Navy, huh? Mm, yeah. Was he in the military, too? He was in the Army. Once you move out of the block, you can get your own house, and you can get your own studio, or whatever, mm -hmm. working for yourself. I'm going to tell you, you're going to make money, and you're going to say, wow, where's this coming from? Mm. I'm not going to tell you you're going to make zillions of dollars, but right. what I am going to tell you is you're going to do a lot better financially. Because right, then you don't have to feel like you support your husband, you know, depending on you. And your husband doesn't mind you're not, you're, you know, you're not working, right? Mm. No, I am working. No, but you know what I'm saying, yeah. that you're not bringing in $2,000 a week or whatever. Close. No, just kidding. No, but, no. you know. And he also... You know, and what are you, you, you're a great mom. You're learning how to balance your career learning. with your children. Right. And that's, that's an everyday process. Okay? Right. You're also yeah. going back to school. Oh, okay. Doing We're all together different. Yeah, I, I see a new path coming. Uh, a a yeah. different path. Now, you may be taking a sabbatical from the spiritual journey that you're on. Okay. And maybe taking a course that either, either uh, this is. Or I can also see you taking a pre-course of law. Hmm. They're both going to be very challenging for you. You'll never give up the, the spiritual part of it. Don't misunderstand that. Hmm. But when somebody tells you, will say, oh, you can't go to take law, and you're blah, 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 you're going to prove to them wrong. Hmm. Your dad says, yep, that's my daughter. Hmm. Did, you, did your dad have a dog? No. Who had the dog? Well, I had a dog growing up. Okay. Did Dad enjoy a couple of cocktails once in a while? Oh, well, one a night. Gonna say it yeah, to you, girl. Mm. Okay. And he, I don't know why he's asking me to ask you. He says, "Please, you have a brother." A twin brother. Twin brother. That's right. You're a twin. Are you keeping an eye on him? Uh, sometimes I was just thinking about him, setting him some stuff. You want you to keep more eye. Let closer. me tell you, Abram. Mm, he he's an interesting character. He, he's a handful of times. He's uh, he's my evil twin. Okay. <laughs> your dad's All a, my yep. friends know that. Your mother says that's not true. She's oh. her baby. No, they did not get along. Well, I'm just telling you what she told yeah. me now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> maybe she's making herself feel better. Maybe. Okay. Is he suicidal? No, no, he's got too much of an ego for that. Sorry, oh, okay. love you. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but I also will tell you there's a lot of changes coming around him, too. I hope so. Better. I, he uh, Actually, there's a, he has, he's going to be going through a, a big shake-up with his life. Mm. Uh, he's, going to, he's going to tumble down. Not real bad, but he's going to tumble down. And he's going to realize his sister isn't the evil one. Mm. I love the way you said that. But, you know, and uh, I see a, a strong connection between you two. Mm. You feel all the pain today, don't you? Yeah. When he's sick, you know it. When he, you know, you know, it's amazing how they can do that. You know how you can do. I also will tell you, he's going to come and ask you for a lot of spiritual healing. Good. You open for it? Absolutely. Is he married? No, he's divorced. Because he's going to find a girl that's very spiritual like you. I hope so. Have her talk some sense into him. Yeah, he, he's like a wandering lost soul. Yeah, that's he going really to find is. himself. Mm. And your oldest son is going to be a lot like him. Yeah, I already see it. 
It reminds me so much of my brother. It's scary. Don't hop on your son. Just let him find that you be yeah. there for him. Yeah. The house that I see you moving into is going to be one that's going to be rent to old son of speak or, or a foreclosure. And mm-hmm. It's going to be like a fixer-upper. Okay. We're fine with that. And it's going to be between uh, 900 and $1,100 a month. That's it? Yeah. Sign me up. Okay, and you're gonna have you got a lot of remodeling. That's why you you got a lot of remodeling to do. I love it. Okay, I'm Ooh. fine with that. But no, I love it. Nobody can stay there, and you know why nobody can live in there? Because hmm. that's a lot of spirits, in there. and they really are very active. They are your challenge. You remember who you're talking to? <laughs> yeah, they're your challenge. They yeah. don't think they're mean or oh or, no, or they anything. just don't they want, just no. they just live there. Yeah, they just, they're just waiting for the right. Right like family, you're going to right be the family. one they select. Yeah. And they, don't get me wrong, they're going to challenge you to see if you're the right fit. Well, they're that's the whole thing. That's for sure. Mm. You know? That's like your like house, kids. your spirits chose you to uh, live there. They're in our spirits at my house. I had it yeah. professionally cleared. Yeah, you know. But I, uh, you know, they do, the spir- I believe spirits choose that's the way we want. Like where I live, I have a lot of spirits. That come yeah, in. the house I lived in, Govstown, um, there was actually, when you walked through the door, you felt like you were interrupting a party. Mm. It was so much energy. And we found out that actually a little girl had died falling down the stairs to the basement. She died in the hospital, but her soul was still mm. at the house on and off. Right. So I felt so bad. Yeah. yeah. But you also released the spirit to go to the other side. Well, she wasn't earthbound. She was definitely on the other yeah. side, but she loved being there in the house. Because yeah, it she reminded she of her mom. She, I kept just hearing she missed her mom. Yeah. I guess they didn't like my show I did for uh, the Learning Channel. They said it was doubtful. They didn't show a picture of me or whatever, and that's okay. But you know what? I'm conscious. My conscience is clear. What I saw is what I saw. The same Learning with you, Channel. what I see. Huh? Yeah. With the uh, kindred spirits. Oh, kindred spirits. Yeah. Um. And, and you know what? That's okay. They didn't. You know, you don't win everything. I wasn't heartbroken by it. A little disappointed, but, but that's okay. But what happened okay. with that? I went and I did a... Uh, I looked at the uh, window and I could see the spirit in the window and the red-headed guy very angry with another girl there. Mm-hmm. And then I saw, oh, well, there was a pool, a pool that was there and the young man drowned in there. And the other people who were not spiritual were seeing how there was a motorcycle. They went and did the research on it and, and there was nobody that owned a motorcycle there or whatever, so they said it was doubtful. Mm-hmm. And I said, you know what, that's okay. I know what I know. Yep. And that's the way I feel about it. I don't expect to win everything going. Well, the thing is, what if it was a friend of the family that had a motorcycle and yeah, they were coming but that back one, on yeah, occasion? Yeah. You can't take no. facts they being go, the only yeah. facts. Well, the, not to mention in the town registry, we'll put it that way. Yeah. You know, that's what they do. And that's okay. You are also going to another funeral. Oh, Okay. Yes. You're going to have to help let this gentleman cross. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's like... Uh, I'm looking at his late 40s, early 50s. Really? Mm-hmm. And I'm seeing a, lo- a big bulge in his tummy on the side there, and I'm also seeing he has a receding hairline, and you're gonna be you're gonna be working with him. You're gonna show him it's okay. He can cross, and then you're gonna perform the memorial service for him. Okay. Okay. It's not someone that you really know. You know his wife more than you know him. Okay. Okay. And you all, have you ever done funerals? No. Oh, they're pretty cool. I don't mean that in a bad way. And mm-hmm. what I do, what I do, when I have people speak about them. Right. You know, enough that's here. I've been to funerals, but yeah. I've never conducted one. Yeah. I've done like three or four. Mm-hmm. And it's really, at first it's creepy, and then you get to you know. Oh, you know. I don't find it creepy. Well, because you know, I want to make sure yeah. I was doing it right. Right. When I went and did the memorial service, and you got to make sure you know you didn't. You know, what I just have them always tell I, know, I might say, okay, what can you tell me? What are your fondest memories of him? Are, are they good? Are they bad? Are they, or what do you want to explain or whatever? You know? Because let's remember, we, not all, everybody has good memories of a person that crosses no. over. And I don't think it's fair for them to try to do it and try to remember the good things. Just be honest. Right. You know? And this person, like I said, he, he, I, you know of him. I'm looking at a Michael or something like that in the name or a Mark. And I'm looking at... Ooh, the spirit is really strong. Okay, I'm looking at that's where the spirit is going to lead you to this guy here. This is your spiritual cord. And I'm looking at you really are involved with spirit. Mm-hmm. Don't forget reality. Oh, no, my kids don't want me to okay. forget reality. Okay. 
You made macaroni and cheese? From the box. Oh, no, 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 no. Your mother says no, no, no. Yeah, well. Scott we makes it right. We won't box. talk about mom's cooking, right? Yeah. I'm very spoiled. <laughs> Scott makes it. <laughs> From the yeah. Scratch. I don't eat it, so yeah. I just make it for my kids. No, craft box with macaroni and cheese. They you know. love it. That because now it doesn't have any of the preservatives and added yeah, colors yeah. and things like that. So. What I also will tell you, you're going to be getting a, your husband's going to be getting another car. Okay. I know you just got one. Well, I just you? gave him my old car. Okay. But that, he's going to have to anymore. trade that in. Oh. Well, wasn't that nice of you to give him your, your old car? Well, he has his Mustang that he drives in the spring and summer, so I gave him my SUV to drive in the winter. Well, that's very nice of you. How generous. And now he wants to pimp it out. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> One other thing I also... Why? Does your daughter have her driver's license? No. I would hold off on I that. I am. Because I don't think she's... Sorry, Sarah. I don't think she's mentally... No. Emotionally strong enough to have it. You'll know when the time is right. right. And I think she knows it too. She knows it okay. too. Okay. She's a very nice lady. Yes, yeah, she is. Kind of shy. Very. More introverted than outwardly. Mm -hmm. She's more like her dad. Oh, your husband is not her dad, right? No. Um, my ex. But it, your husband has been more like a dad to her than your ex, right? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so she's following his traits. See what I'm saying? Mm. You can be a man and make all kinds of children, but it takes a man to be a dad. Right. You know, I said that all in one breath. Okay. Oh my goodness! But I, you know, I think you, you, you. I will tell you this: you've been very. Is that Al? Uh -huh. That's you. Could be. Yep. Oh come on! Here we go again. Oh, come on. Hello, Al. Oh, I lost him. Oh, no. I'll get him back. Al is so awesome. How do you like the Fitbit? I love it. It helps me a lot. Yeah. It keeps me motivated. You know, after 12 weeks of not being able to do anything, it's helping me get back on track without being crazy. Good. <laughs> there we go. Hello? Hey, Al. Sorry about that. I hit the wrong button. Okay, how you doing today? You're going to watch the Bruins tonight? I can't yeah. wait for the game. What do you think? Oh, I think we're going to, it's going to be a battle, but if we play our cards right, we're going to win. Celtics lost last time. They only lost four games and won 18. I guess that's, that's still as late. Oh, yeah, well, I, yeah I, well I, think it's, I think it does the Celtics good to lose every once in a while instead of letting their ego get in the way. Mm. Yeah. You know? And like that, too, you know. And uh, we have a hot-looking lady sitting here with us. Oh, you do? Okay, well. You know. Anyway, how did you want to call for anyone? We have a, yeah, for us, we had a couple, right? We had a few. Yeah, yeah. yeah for us, it'd be gay, you know. Yeah. So, how was you your thing? Tonight, the Bruins, do you think, do you think they'll win tonight? We. you uh, I think it's going to be close. I think I know. You know, I think they're going to win when it's going to be very, I'm almost looking, it could be overtime. But Tampa Bay is good, yeah. Though. They gotta get a new uh, goaltender, though. Rask, I think they learned better. Yeah, Rask was in the other night. Yeah, he didn't do that well. Oh, we'll see you tonight. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, anyway, no, we'll get into the weather. Mostly clear tonight. We'll see diminishing winds in the 20s. The cold night tomorrow. Uh, morning sun, afternoon creeping clouds, 40 to 45 degrees. Two rain showers, maybe mixed with some uh, snow at the beginning, late tomorrow night after midnight, and basically early Friday morning, just some rain showers. Yeah, 50 Friday clearing, late in the afternoon, Friday's another cold front moon still. Right now, the weekend looks good. Yeah, so, good. Uh, mostly sunny, mid 40s, Saturday, mixture of sun and clouds, mid 40s, Sunday. So, no big storms into next week. There is going to be a storm offshore this weekend, but it should stay fine up out to see. But uh, it looks like we're going to see some. Uh, Seasonal temperatures for the weekend into early next week. Don't big storms into the next week right now. Well, that's pretty good. I'm looking, though, that like in the week and a half to two weeks that we're going to have a big blizzard. Well, it looks like the Greenland uh, high is going to develop a high pressure in Greenland. That may bring some much colder weather by the middle of December. That's what some of the long-range computer models right. say. Yeah. I'm looking, especially in November, I mean, uh, I'm looking at, like, in January, we're going to have a lot of heavy snow. 
to see a lot of snow in January. Huh? Yep, yep. You know, we could go out and make snow angels. Okay. <laughs> anyway, no, so what do you see? I think it's December. I think December when I see some cold weather. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, yeah, I see a lot of cold weather in December. Colder than, what, than it was last year. Yeah. Okay, and you see a lot of snow and cold in January, huh? Yep, yep. Right up through till March. It's going to be good maple syrup weather. Okay, great. You know. Anyway, Norma, I'll just get back to your show. I'll give you a call Sunday night. Alrighty. Bye yeah, bye-bye, Al. Bye. Have a good night. Yeah. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, bye-bye. bye-bye. <laughs> He's so sweet. Huh. Maybe I'll try to run into him on Sunday. Yeah. He, He's a great guy. I know where he is every Sunday because yeah. he follows I know. I ran into him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I didn't tell him I knew you. Should have. I know I should have. No. Because he's very shy. Yeah. He, he, he really does. is. He has autism. Mm. You know, and and he's very hard of hearing. So yeah, people yeah. don't realize that. When they talk to him, he doesn't always respond. It's because he never heard them speak. Right. And he, he, uh, he like, wait, well, I'll go into a restaurant one and you know, hey, that's Al, that's Al. I'll go, here we go. He's going to get his picture taken. What happened to me? You know, stuff. And I pick up his facial turn of red. Mm. You know, and one of the things I've also yep, told you is... another that, call. Oh, okay. That must be the area. It is Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, Not too bad. You sound better. Not too bad. How, how's your cat? Uh, she's doing pretty good. But then is, at least she stops uh, sneezing now. Oh, so good. The medicine I had for her last year worked on her so she's much better good good yeah, yeah. and I, I told her myself and i said now you listen to sissy i said you don't take my call away from me there you it's go i'm gonna make you sick and she looked at me man because she calls me man yeah the cat actually and I said, talks now to you'll her. be a good girl like and then she kissed me oh <laughs> see yeah. That's so sweet, that cat, and that, she's yeah. getting better, so she's yeah. listening. Yeah, that cat actually talks to yeah. her. I, actually, Mary's had her talk on the phone. Oh. You know, so it's pretty cool, yeah. you know. Mary, i got to give you a call because this weekend we're going to have like a, 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 a breakfast buffet only like at 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, okay. So, All righty. Yeah, huh? That was Brunch. good. Brunch. So we'll give you a call to have you come over. How's that? All right. Sounds good, Norm. All righty. Mary, take care of yourself. Yeah. yeah, behave yourself for a little while. Oh, yeah, I have to until I have the, that MRI coming up. Oh, okay. You're going to do yeah. fine with that. How's your eye surgery? How the, oh, you tell me you saw her. You know, I still see in my left eye. I never had it before until surgery. I had, it looked like three scratches going across my eye. Yeah. So even if I look at TV sometime. Especially the lights, it's terrible. Because yeah. all I see is three scratches yeah. when, the, when the light hits my left eye. Then you need to talk to the doctor about that. Definitely. Because uh, they, they could readjust the uh, contact that you have in your eye or whatever. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, it, it's, it's just, it's, you know, I looked a certain way and there's, you know, there's those three scratches coming across my left yeah. eye. Yeah, it sounds like that. Because when I first, when I had that done, it sounds like, you know, I would, they had to go readjust something. Yeah. So I would tell you to do that. Then you can chase all those men down the street when you get your eyesight better. I know, huh? <laughs> Look out, people. There you go. Mary's on. How, how was your show, Mary? Well, I didn't go because I had the appointment. Oh, that's and right. Yeah. Two o'clock. That's right. You want to tell the people about your show? Yeah, it's called Cruising with Mary. It's a talk show, and everybody is invited. They can call me at four eight six eight six one six. If you want to come on, you got something you want to talk about. It's on Tuesday at one o'clock, and everybody's welcome. Yes. Yep. Okay. Okay, Mary. Have a good evening. Drink a cup of hot tea. Why I tell you that I don't know. And a cup of green tea. All righty. Okay. Like green tea here too. All right. Drink some. It'll do you good. All righty. Yep. Catch you guys later. Bye, Mary. Bye. Yep. Bye, Bye, Lori. Bye. Bye. She said she, she's a spit off in this show. Yeah. I've had like nineteen or twenty people that been on the shows. Yeah. 
that come off in this show. Oh, really? Yeah, and I'm the only one that's outlasted so far, thanks to Spirit. I want to do at least three to four more years, so you got three to four more oh, years with God. me. <laughs> Help me. I was lost without her. I really I believe was. it. You know, I do. I, I'm not disputing these other people that were here, too, because they were great, you know, to fill in like that. But when you get used to working, we work well together. Well, you're Usually the balance kick of each me other. In the leg every once in a while. So she smacked me in the head the other day, ladies and gentlemen out there. Even she just dealt with an invisible really? spirit. You think I smacked him in the head? <laughs> there are times I want to, but I never do. Well, well oh, I got asked. Um, who was it? I was at Market Basket, and she says, "Has this?" Have you two been together for a long time? I go, what's a long time? She said, 10 years. I go, no, we've been together for almost four years well, now, right? Well, three and a half. Three and a half years. And she says, you two connect that. She, she's also a reader. And she, and she says that we did the same type of work in our past life as well. I sometimes, don't doubt it at all. Sometimes that does happen. Don't you agree? Oh, yes. You know? Do you also know that you were the designers of building the pyramid? Oh, really? Yeah. You, I would, I would challenge you to look at the pyramids. Okay. And see what you see in them. Okay. You, you gotta, you know, like I said, I do see the something about your eyesight improving. Mm-hmm. Health wise, I, I, I do see you gotta take better care of yourself. I am. Okay, because you get too exhausted. You have the branding fields in the part, and you're branding this one, this one. Now you gotta focus on Amy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, got her name right. Again, I yeah, know, it's a miracle. Yeah. Miracle, <laughs> isn't it? You know? And I also will tell you, you ever ride horses? When I was a kid. You ready to ride some more? I'd love it. Okay, because that I do I see you doing. Okay. And I actually see you and your children. Do you have a child that has like a slight learning disability? Uh, my daughter does, and my, my youngest son slightly okay. does. Well, because your youngest son, the one that there's someone in there that can communicate with the animals, especially horses. That would be Sarah. Okay, and I would encourage her to really get with them. She would make a good uh, veterinarian assistant. Mm. I don't see her taking the. T- I don't think she has the patience to become a full veterinarian. Right. But as far as veterinarian technician, she can do really well with mm-hmm. that. And I also will tell you this: when she gets upset, she can really get going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And because you could see somebody misusing an animal, and you're going to have to control it so she don't clobber them, seriously. Okay. Okay. Because she is very much You may animal. have to hold me back, too. I was going to say, you just have to get there first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> because there's no excuse for abusing an animal. No. No excuse, Mm-mm. you know. It's like, abusing kid, no. But I actually, uh, there was uh, there was a guy over at the park. He had a belt, and he was smacking a kid with the belt. I walked over to it. So I wanted to get beat up. I walked over, and I took the belt away. I said, would you try and beat me with that belt? The kid couldn't have been more than three or four years. Oh, I didn't tell you about that. It happened like a month and a half ago. I said, try, to, try it on me. He said, I'll bring my kids up any way I want. I go, no, not with a belt. I called the police. Whatever happened out of that. When I took it down, you know. Oh yeah, I I can't. But I no. know what it's like. The next four months, you should start. You should start getting some very, very good news for you. And it's not going to seem it at first, but you, but it's going to be a lot of good changes for you. But there again, you have to be your old practitioner. Okay, and it's time that Amy says I can take some responsibility of running a store, running this, or running that by myself, and plus be. The student of your children at a very good job. I know your husband said, "Oh, go ask your mother. What does your mother say?" Right? Oh no. No. No, oh, my husband likes it. Huh? No, he plays that game. That's what I'm saying. But he likes to give the answer. Okay. You're firm, I'm easy going. You? I'm very easy going. I oh, that's him. Yeah, he's very. Oh. I'm very easy going. So you didn't like learn all from the book can't be yes and no, huh? I learned it for myself, but when it comes to my kids, I'm, yeah. I'm soft. Yeah, I was. I too. love them too much, though. They're too yeah. cute. But you yeah. know what? Loving your children <laughs> is disciplining them too. Yes, I do. I don't know how them. many professionals I had tell me that. Yeah, take child. away the video games, and they have this huge fit. But you know what? Oh well, we told them. They don't get into trouble. Not really. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe at home, like they're good at home. Right. That's obviously. Oh, little Sammy. And I don't see either one. I don't see either one drugs. Good. 
I really don't. Because I'd kill him. I'm not going <laughs> to say they won't try the whole name sugar, if you know what I mean. Mm. But I don't see it with alcohol problem. I don't see it with a No, well, they don't problem. get a lot of that influence no. from us. And that's where, it, that's from, that's where it starts at home, right. too, you know. And uh, like with me, when I wasn't a good father role model. I really was, and I, you know what, when I, and I realize that today, so, my son was more like the, the father that I was, the son, so to speak, because I was always too intoxicated, too busy partying, but now I think we, I made up for it, like, and we have a very good bond, so right. I think that's important. Life, it's not, you know, always going to be roses and picking roses, or like, you know, that, I know that, you know, there are going to be our ups, and there are going to be our downs, and, you know, and that's the way it is with you. With you, you have to have these downs to build yourself back up, mm. and that's who you are. Yep. I'm glad that you cannot get pregnant. Good. Because I'm you glad would too. have twins if you did. No. Usually it skips a generation. Usually. At least in, in my family, it always skipped a generation. Who are twins in your family? Oh, that's right. You're a I'm twin. I'm a twin. So one of her kids will have twins, yeah. probably. Ha <laughs> ha. Probably. I'm your brother is that. going to come to you broken. Okay. I don't mean financially. Okay. Okay. He's okay financially. And that's he's Not rich, really. but he's... He can take care of himself when he has to. Uh, hmm. As much as he can. Yeah. When he's not living yeah. in a car. But he made that choice. I was yeah. going to say, I a know lot of times feel, that's a choice because yeah. he doesn't want to step He doesn't up. feel comfortable in the house for some reason. He feels like... No, he feels very comfortable. It's just he lost his house. job. Yeah. He doesn't live near me. He lives in um, Wyoming. Well, are you ready to open your door? To I would in an instant. He knows that. But he has kids there that he doesn't want to leave. Right. He's a good dad. He's a very good dad. His wife really screwed him over. Oh, well, you know, he really kind of screwed himself. Uh, yeah, that's I think. He, when you he allow doesn't step it to up happen. for himself. You know, you have yeah. to take responsibility right. for your yeah. actions. He doesn't step up for himself at all. Yeah. I actually see him hitting rock bottom. Mm. Does he have a drinking problem? Or nope. just a work problem? Just a work problem, responsibility problem. That's because he's always been free. He's always been a rebel. Mm. When you were just the opposite. Well, we had a rough childhood, yeah. so he had it more rough than any of us, so. Well, because you were the man, he was the male. Yeah. So. Your mother, cruel to, your mother was pretty cruel to him, but she thinks she was close to him. And she doesn't give a damn what anybody says. Mm. Okay. Your mother could be a very stubborn lady. Mm hmm Okay. I take after her. You sure do. Mm. Your grandmother on your mother's side also told me to tell you that she loves you very much. Mm. Uh, did you know her? Yes. Was she, did she make cookies? Yes. Okay. Chocolate chip? I wish. She would know. She did, but she made them mostly with raisins. And I would always go in there, why is that chocolate chip? Oh, I love the raisin cookies. <laughs> what is that? I had that. But I was like five years yeah. old. I'm like, my, my mother used to chocolate make the chips? chocolate chip. <laughs> You know, I on was a raisin chip. On a wood stove. That's what I love my about My mom baked stove. and cooked and all yeah. that stuff. So she was who, was a, I, who was an immaculate housekeeper? I don't stick it with your mother. She was pretty good. But I'm talking immaculate, immaculate. Mm. With your grandmother? It may have been. I didn't notice when I was young. Are you an immaculate housekeeper? I try, but it's Is impossible. your house lived in? Yes. Okay. Very. And remember, you got two dogs. Two dogs. Four kids. Four kids. A and husband. A husband. And a cat. And a cat. I was going to say at least one cat, right? Yeah. Yep. And they all get along, right? It's a full my house. Pe yeah, my we need like a huge house. You know, I your husband's see. trying to tell you that's yeah, why you're moving out to the country. He wants to move to some farmhouse and have like horses and cows. I'm like, and no. a dream is going to come true. I, yeah, I, I would love to have I a place where it. I can rescue animals and yes. have them take care and of them. And you're going to have a goat yes. that you can, you're going to have two goats that you milk and use the milk. I'm not milking a cow. Goat. Oh, I'm not milking a goat either. Well, your kids will. I'm a city girl. <laughs> well, your kids will. I'm sure my kids will. They'll be. They'll have fun with. I them. like goat's milk. Yeah. You do? Yeah, we do. You a have lot of, oh, we, yeah, we do a lot of. Remember, I bought you all the goat milk cheese last oh, yeah. year. My, uh, <laughs> my, uh, my sister in the old-fashioned days, the old days. You know what I mean? Yeah. When I was. Young lad. Before time began. Before time yeah. began. Hundred years ago. Yeah, God, it seems like forever. I was mm. born in the forties, you know, and I get my sister had eaten had eaten too many blueberries. Okay. Yeah, and so they got the toxin from poison, and the doctor gave her yeast and goat's milk. Oh, 
I didn't know you got toxins from eating too many blueberries. Yep. Oh. Yeah. What yeah. about all the antioxidants, man? My, I mean, my mom eats blueberries every single day. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, she every ate day. like a bucket full, you know, back then. Where oh. I lived, we lived in a berry forest. Strawberries. And to so this good. day, I can I have a hard time eating berries. I love berries. Uh, you know, and like that, too. But, you know, I get, I get thinking a lot. You know, I grew up, you know, very poor. And that, but I didn't know I was poor. Right. You know? I went out in the woods and cut the trees, brought them home, eight, nine years old, shoveled out, you know, stuff like that. But, you know what? I was healthy. Yeah. Sometimes the less you have, the more, the more you, you have, have yeah. because you value it and yeah. you see life through a different perspective. And it's more about family and right. love rather yeah. than your possessions. Well, I was kind of, I kind of brought myself up. I was like an orphan and that's okay. But um, I enjoy what I have today mm. because I know the path that I had when, you know, um, put me to where I am today. Like mm. with you. Mm. you. How long were you in the military? Four years? Four years. Four years. Would you go back if they called you? I'm too old, but yes. My husband doesn't want me to, but yes. Yeah. Well, I, I think Bruce says the same thing. You go but back he's a lot older than you. <laughs> now I'm over 40. They won't take me. No. Well, you could do clerical work. That's what I did in the military. Mm -hmm. You're a captain? Mm -mm. Petty officer. What's that? Like a sergeant? I don't know ranks of army, but it's like an E four. Oh yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah, and I want to thank you for serving that country. Thank you. you know, I really do. It means a lot, you know. And I think that more people should respect that. And say, don't be afraid to say thank you, like thank your husband for me, and, I, and because they really do. Even the, you know, like I've seen a lot of the homeless that that said I've talked to, and I, you know, I want to thank you for serving our country. Got a beer? <laughs> well, it's hard to know who has served your country. I was just yeah. doing something today, and somebody said, well, do you want to donate money to the veterans? I'm like, I am a veteran. I don't get any money. <laughs> but no. I was like, I know it goes to the other veterans, but I'm like, you never know who is a veteran out nope. there. You well, know. Unfortunately, there are some people who pretend. Yeah. And, and that's so sad. As mm. you know, I'd probably say half my family are veterans you know my husband my son my grandson all my brothers my sister all my uncles most you know half my cousins you know i mean we're lots of veterans so it saddens it breaks my heart when i see someone pretending to be a veteran what's it called stolen valor i mean it's actually a federal crime mm. it's it's like I met a guy. Oh. Thanks, my son. <laughs> that's I what I really about. want to hit somebody. I met this guy several years ago, and I got thinking. He was supposed to be in the special armed forces, you know, sleeping under the logs and eating worms and all this, this military training and all mm -hmm. this stuff. Then he also. Then I got thinking. Wait a minute. All this time that he was told he did all this in the military, where did he find time to go to prison? Because I knew he was in prison. So how could he, you know, so I, but you know what, it was, if he was to believe it, who am I to say no? Right. But I always felt, I never felt like a man because I could not get into the military. I always felt I let my family down because oh. I could not get into the military. Because my brothers were in the military and my nieces and nephews were some of them in the military. But I have a left eye that never allowed me to get. My twin tried to go in with me. He couldn't go in for medical reasons. Yeah. Right, and that's and it's a big letdown. But that's no, you know? it's not. I mean, it just it, wasn't but, your. You know, it it just us. wasn't your path. Yeah, but I worked on a military base, so that count. That's a nerve. You served. I saw the the body bags come in, mm. and I can remember one day that one friend I went to high school with. He says to me, came back in with both legs blown off. He says, "What the hell did I go in there for?" I said, "For that." When they were all protesting the Vietnam War, God, I'm telling my age. Mm. I went to the original Woodstock, and I got kissed with Janis Joplin. Oh. Ooh, that was cool. And I watched Jimmy Hendrix come down in the helicopter, and that was the most amazing, amazing sight one could ever see. Wow. And if you watch the, uh, the uh, original Woodstock on TV, and you mm -hmm. see a bare butt running by, believe it or not, that's me with the curly hair. And the, oh my God, you know, but you know, and that's it. I enjoy life. 
Some of the things I hit rock bottom on, just like you have, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but we always managed to, and like you have, you've always managed to make it go. That's right. I look at Chris as being very exceptional for you this year. Why, I'm not sure. And I'm not going to tell you if I did. But there's some blessing that's coming out for Christmas. Oh. Okay. Open your heart to it. Is it a good lesson? It's awesome. Okay. It may not start out that way, but it will end up being that way. All right. And I also will tell you, I do see you going to see your brother in, there, in Wyoming. Mm. I see you flying out there. And you may have to bring him home for a short time. All right. Okay. He's trying hard, yeah. but he doesn't know how, or he doesn't want to know how. Mm. He enjoys, because he's a little bit jealous of you. You think so? I should say a lot jealous. Mm. But you keep sending him love. Yes, of course. He's my twin. Yeah. And, uh, you I want to strangle him and then kiss him. Yeah. Give him cheek. Yeah. I love him. Strangle Don't him be again. afraid to talk to him spiritually. <laughs> yeah. No, she, he haunts do, my you dreams. Do that. You do that already. Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay. He may not only want to hear your cause, but way of talking things. No, he doesn't believe in any of this stuff, of yeah. course. I used a new word for me. You did a good job. Yeah. You also, I, uh, you're, how old is your youngest son again? Six. Is she into cool, uh, like, uh, uh, inventions? Oh, that's Michael who loves inventions and his dad. Sam is into technology. Oh, okay. Because I'm seeing something about some kind of a robotic type invention that they're going to make to help mankind. Oh. You know. The technology. Yeah. yeah. So you see now in the mill air, in the mill air, now they have things that can replace people's human parts. Yeah. That's scary. Mm. I don't know if I want that. But you knew it was coming. Yeah, oh, yeah, we all know it. Yeah. You know it's coming. Yeah. One thing I'm also going to tell you is, do you have a sister as well? Two. Are you okay with them? That, so, so. Remember this. They made that choice, not you. Yeah. you got to stop sending out the olive branch and take mm. a break. Remember how I told you that you have to take care of you? Yeah. And this is what you really have to do. If they choose not to understand what you do, or if they choose to think that they are better than you, they're not, they lost. Mm. And I was a snob at one. Well, you couldn't picture me being a snob, could you? No, 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 no you know. <laughs> oh, no, if I didn't look at you, uh, don't talk to, you know. But I had, in order, I had to hit rock bottom to me to realize that other people are just as good as I am. Yeah. I really did, from the ditch digger to the... I worked at a recycling company. Smell? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, it's really bad. Yeah. But you know what? I learned that's what, to be human that yeah. way. Yeah. Good. You know? It's good that you learned that lesson. Yeah. It was humbling. It is, very. I had a pair of moccasins that a lady gave me when I lost everything. I was in the homeless shelter eating. Mm. Never slept there, fortunately, and getting in life with food. And she came up, she said, here. And I started crying, okay. okay? And I started crying. I go, wow. She says, what are you crying about? And I still had them as a memento today because that was the beginning of that. One of the, they, the Indians say, don't judge me until you walk a mile in my That's shoes. Right. And I'm a firm believer in that. Who can judge? Right. We're not, around, we're not allowed to judge at all. No. You have throat problems? Me? Not that I'm aware of. My throat chakra is very nice. Yeah. Do you have, who has, uh, you still have your uh, throat? Uh, tonsils? Tonsils. Nope. It was taken okay. out years ago. Does your daughter have them? Or your son? Uh, yes. Okay. And I'm seeing, a, I, I'm seeing a white cloud as I'm looking at you. Because you take your son's pains. You take all your children's pains. But they have to learn how to do, to, I mean, me and you. You have no sympathetic. That means you're a good parent. Like when you, you know when your great, grandchildren are, are not feeling well. When you're, even with your son, you know when they're not feeling well. Uh, I'll never that. forget you when know. my son was in overseas and I, just started feeling all shaky and jittery and crazy and, and I'm like what is going on this isn't me and I stopped and I I realized it wasn't my feelings I was feeling it was his feelings I was feeling even though he was overseas mm -hmm. yeah. and then uh, he, he called a while you know, oh yeah before we leave your website amymajor.com okay and where is your business we're in Salem New Hampshire New and Hampshire New Hampshire <laughs> yeah. and phone number 
There's no phone number. There's a phone number listed on the website they can call. Oh, can they can call on the Okay. <laughs> and can they and they can email you? Yes. That's all through the website? So all they want through to make an appointment my website. And they can go to Facebook as well yeah. and Amy. type in Infinite Journey or Amy Major. And, and you have classes coming up? Yes. Every Monday night at 7 p.m. we have a development class. It's $10 a class. <gasps> oh, can't say prices. That's a no-no. Wow. Well, too late now, but that's all right. People like to know because yeah, there's a lot of expensive places up there. So. Okay, well, they'll bleep it out, but we can't say the price on the air. Oh, wow. We caught the lady a couple times, you know. No, and no. it's no biggie, but I mean, well, okay. Well, I mean, why would, why would she have any way to know that? Yeah, that that's it. You know, I right am psychic. I should have known that. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. But I also want to tell you, it's been a pleasure having you back on again. Thank you. And when I get home, I'll be fishing. You'll come back on probably in March. All right. Okay. When I move in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, after you move. After I yeah, move. after you move. After you and move. And we're going to be I'm doing another blessing at the park, and right. I'm going to invite you to come. If you're up to, we'll have you come too. And everybody, have a great week. Mm. Remember, every single day, there's no such thing as failure. You're always a winner.